move in it. <laughs> it's <laughs> not it's move out of the way. Move out of the way. <laughs> And I don't know if the GoPro will make it, will even be able to like show you the full glory of this car, man. It's beautiful. Okay, what's going on people hope we're all well and living the dream as you've probably seen this car in the previous video uh where we spoke to tim about his build um just a new series that's on the channel uh this is his turbo very very beautiful milano red uh fn2 which has got the edfc do you call it module, it's called module? um i'll just call it yeah edfc control module yeah control yeah, yeah. Module. you could yeah. control module yeah yeah, yeah. And pretty much what it is, is you can control, or I say you can control, it will automatically control the dampening, softness. That is, it controls the, what would be the control knobs you control on the top, which is for dampening, yeah. or bound and, because this is, these, this is a single bound and rebound adjustment on mm. these, so it can, controls that. You can buy the edfc kit you can buy it an extra set of motors so you buy a full eight pack if your coilovers can do bound and rebound which mm -hmm. is quite cool yeah so i me and me and tim have the same coilovers fitted to our car and we both agreed they're basically the best ones for the fn2 right yeah we can't we can't disagree no. on that but we're, we're always right as well yeah 100 <laughs> percent. but um one of the main things so as uh, as we just said he's got the edfc fitted and what we're going to do is we're just gonna see what it's like, pretty much. Um, it's, I'm just doing a little walk around so you can see it, but, and I don't know if the GoPro will make it, will even be able to like show you the full glory of this car, man. It's beautiful. I mean, look at these wheels. Again, like I said, if you haven't checked out his sit down talk, it's very much worth it. How much power is it running again? 400, just over 400. 400, so. yeah. It's, it does, it's it bang on. If it's on the high boost, it's bang on 400. Yeah. It, 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 rolled, it was on the roll as that. Yeah. So this will be a very, very good test for sure. And in weather, that's actually all right when it's not raining. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just hit the road. You even asked me about my job. Um, ah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, what do you do? I do. Now I'm doing more car security, so I do alarms, trackers, mm -hmm. ghosts, immobilizers, mm -hmm. band security, so yeah. all the dead locks and the lock plates. Yeah. Um, before that, I was doing a lot of rebuilds and uh, restorations of older cars and yeah. just built, generally building cars to customer spec. Just the interior mainly, nothing to do on the outside. It was all just interior so electronics yeah. uh, retrimming hence why i've done this all on the dashboard yeah because uh, i had the time the space and the uh glue yeah nice 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 yeah. nice and it shows in here yeah. i mean i don't even know look <laughs> look at this i generally this interior i don't even want to touch actually I know that <laughs> I'll, my wife goes oh 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 and i go ah like that all right she's like no no get it all the same way so he's got all the dash mm. all dash so we've got dials up here so yeah. we've got there's fuel pressure uh, yeah. i was getting slight problems with uh some fuel starvation and i wanted to make sure what was going on so i've got a fuel uh gauge and sensor out on the fuel pulse dampener um and then okay. over there i've got boosts I've got oil pressure and then I've got oil temp, which you always need, especially when you're out on track so you can keep an eye on stuff, what they're doing. Indeed. The fact that you even take this out on track is, I, I like the fact that you use it as oh, well yeah. as you look after yeah, it. This, you know. Well, it, I, I look after it enough so it, it can look after me and it's a, yeah. lot, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun and especially out, out on track, it's a blast. 
And, you, and you, see, you see cars thinking, yeah, I'm going to go past this. I'll just go past them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which way's left? <laughs> left uh, right. Yeah, left. Let's go left. So, um, just going back to the topic in hand. Yeah. Um, this is the, yeah, <laughs> but it's, there's a lot to yeah. distract you. So, so, this is the controller, right? Yep. Yeah, so, on there, we've, we've there's a few different... Um, so there's a few different types of settings on there. You can have this so it just uh, just front to rear, yeah. or just left to right, or individual corners. So this will as you as you let on and off, you can see nice. the you can see the damp damping changes. I don't think you can actually see that. Look at that. That is awesome. So you change it as you accelerate, as you corner. Yeah. It, it just sit on the fly. Um, there's a couple of different settings on there. I've I've played around with them. Uh, let's go right. I've played around with them. I'd be honest. I can't actually say I can notice a massive difference on the different settings. Yeah. Okay. But I haven't had a chance to get it out on track with there. Okay. But it's just it's so nice to drive. It's it it's soft. Yeah. If comfortable. Yeah. And then as soon as you start giving it a bit on the uh, on the corners, yeah, it feels exactly how it should do. Yeah. So. And just for transparency, right? I'm I'm obviously sitting in the passenger seat, right? But I can feel everything that's going on in this car. With like I said in the intro, we're both running the same suspension setup. Um. And um. Sorry, I'm <laughs> just taking in by the sound and the power. Right. So we're running the same suspension setup. We both got basically maximum camber at the front. Uh, uh, the, 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 the tine camber is set on maximum yeah. and mine's adjusted via the cam box. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Right. So, mine are adjusted by the top mounts. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, with that being said, like it, right now, it feels pretty much identical. I would say mine is a bit more harsh. If I'm being honest, do, but I don't know. Do, do you know how many clicks you've got yours? Set? Yeah, so from the hardest, I've got three clicks down. Okay, that makes so sense. I've, I've I've been looking around, looking watching YouTube's yeah. uh, videos regarding uh, suspension setups, and mm. there's a guy who's out in the states who sets up cars for track and for winning, and he's like. The best isn't the hardest. No. The best is the softest. The softer you can go, yeah. the better. Oh, really? Yeah. The better, the, the more, the more, the softer you can go with it. Yeah. The, the better you. Go the, straight across. Yeah. The better it can be for you. Because, because then you can turn it stiffer. Yeah. If you're already running it stiff, you've yeah. got no more adjustment. I got you. So dial it back. Yeah. And then adjust into it. That makes Instead, sense. It's, it's just like, yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot. That does sense. make a lot more yeah. sense, actually. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm. I just wanted to go into the middle of the road, really and truly, because I think it's like six clicks. Yeah. So either you, way. So you only have six clicks. I now have sixty. So okay. So that's a that's a good advantage. Yeah. I didn't so realize you, that. So you now the because you don't actually have it as a click. Yeah. I can adjust this. This will now adjust from uh, sixty down to zero. So you, get, you get so many more uh, adjustments on there. You can set it, it's either 16, 32 or 64, that's it. Okay, cool. And that's literally just by a control, by this control. That, that yeah. I can press the middle, I can tell it, I can do it, set it on a manual yeah. setting so I can only do what I want it to. Sure. I just let it do it. So it's like, oh, sure. Just gonna kind of, I'm gonna take in the ride and just have some shots in. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So I guess another thing I'd like to ask is, um, with this here, right? What it? You said it just picks up the speed that you're going yeah. and then adjusts automatically that way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this wheel it runs on my speed pulse, which is because I've got an aftermarket stereo. Yeah. It's got the little connect to. Uh, box in there so that's got speed pulse out of it I connect that down into this yeah. uh, and that then knows what speed it's going so I you have to do a, you have to give it a little drive let it learn itself and stuff like that but then it so it then gives it it knows what speed you're doing 
it's got a yaw sensor and g-force sensor built into the display as well you've got to make sure it's mounted proper securely so it knows where you're turning and it knows when you're accelerating and de 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 accelerate to when you slam the brakes on it changes the stiffness when you accelerate it changes the stiffness as you're cornering it changes so it's, it's really act it's so active if you you can turn on the beeps so it literally it will beep at you as it's adjusting mm. as you're driving it's just constantly beeping so, you, <laughs> so you've got yes yeah, so you've got to uh you've got to obviously turn it off but it makes you realize how much it's actually it's like uh, a, working yeah for sure so i guess another question is right um let's talk money which is a sensitive subject for a yeah. lot of people but ultimately if you're interested in this it's good to know you know what goes into it now i know you said you did a lot of the installation for this right yeah um so but like if you just wanted to talk parts for example yeah how much how much is it what the suspension no not necessarily not the suspension just the edfc the edfc that mm. was i get the right 500 i think it Okay. Yeah, I think it's about 400 pound for mm -hmm. that piece. Okay. So I was looking at buying like this, the the, the the racing suspension setup of uh, um, BC Racing. Yeah. I was looking at spending 30, 1400 quid, yeah. and then I went hunting around. So again, this, this this might not be the right route to go because I don't drive the car always on track. Most yeah. of the time, it's out of the road. So I'm like, I've got to try and think and plan the. Yeah. I want to drive the car and feel comfortable Go left. and uh, enjoy it. Exit. Yeah. Up on the um, A1, yeah? Yeah. It's um, only on a short spot. I'll show you. Sorry, sorry. There's a good view right over there. So, yeah, go on. Um, so, I was like, yeah, hunted around, hunted around, found some really good videos about yeah. the Tyne and the EDFC. Yeah. So, I was like, yeah, let's go for that. Yeah. Is that your screen, Mark? Oh. Is it your screen while I'm hearing? What? When you put your foot down and you really go for it, and it's like, yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's a screen round. Damn. <laughs> it sounds that's so angry. angry. Oh yeah, this is this is very 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 angry. Yeah, <laughs> I like to say my car is very angry and raucous, but this is like this is angry yeah. as well. <laughs> adjustability so this is just like my initial thoughts on it so far yours rides the road better than mine and my coilovers are not old by the way so I'm not even gonna say oh mine are old and whatnot that I put them in in 2021 yeah it's so so smooth and you wouldn't even know you're on coilovers right now like you generally wouldn't and then you fit you said you fit the everything yourself isn't it? yeah I, I had on the, previously on here you had the BC racings yeah and they're good Mm. But you know you're on coilovers, yeah. and even on like a braised soft setting, it was mm. still it was still quite harsh and bangy. I got you. Um, changing over to these, yeah, such a big difference. It's a different ball Such game. a big difference. They, they absorb the the road, yeah, a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still got that stiffness that you want, so you can sort of throw it into a corner, yeah, but. You can just drive along quite yeah, nicely. Exit here. And my, my, even my little missus, she's like, she's quite happy to actually be in this. Before the old suspension, she didn't like being in it. <laughs> now she's like, I don't mind being in the car now. It's yeah. quite nice to be in. So like, yeah, cool. You go These roads that we're about to go on are very, very, very fun, by the way. So this road is a really good test because you can really like throw it at speeds on the, in, in my car on this road, but it's also quite bumpy, so it's good to kind of like see how it feels. And you're going over. See, this feels so, 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 so compliant yeah. and and planted. It's so annoying that there's a massive look. How, <laughs> look, look like literally, just as we come in here, I'll, go, I'll back off a bit. Yeah, back off a bit. Nothing. Yeah, one hundred percent. We need to do this. Is just all those little things. Let me ask you this question. Now that you've done it, I know you didn't have the taints on for a long time. Yeah. 
I mean, I definitely am tempted to do it 100%. I've got to be honest, considering what I know now. Um, and considering what the way it feels now, but would you do it again? Would you recommend to do it again? I think it, I'm glad that I can drive along mm -hmm. and it's soft and compliant. Yeah. But I know when I chuck it in the roads, it's going to take it's, it. It's going to take Easy. it. Easy. It, it, it adjusts to be able to take it, mm. which which is what you want. You want to be able to drive along in a lovely, smooth and soft environment yeah and then when you want to nail it yeah be, without having to get out of the car and give it yeah. a little get so yeah. that's that is like that's a perfect world that's yeah. a perfect world of, of owning coilovers yeah the, the ability to change it without having to get out of the car open the bonnet get your hand in there and and, and all you want to do is go a few corners quickly yeah so you're like yeah it's it's I think it makes the coilovers and the thing about like thirteen hundred pound. I think it was. Yeah. But you, for the for the money, you're not going to get many kits out there that can give you the options. True. You know what would be great? I'd ultimately really like you to drive my car so you can see what it's like compared to this now. Like genuinely, because where I'm sat, I'm sat in the passenger seat, but that doesn't make any difference. Like the ride is the ride for whoever's in the car. And I could tell you now, when you started flooring it back then. Um, at X amount of speed, like you, like we were just saying, it, it generally took it. You can turn back on yourself out there. If you keep going, you end up going to Cambridge. So, yeah, I mean, it just, it just takes it. It just genuinely takes it. But yeah, I mean, this. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. You coming all the way to my neck of the woods to film. Um, oh, I like that. And generally bringing this beast out, man. It is 100% an animal. It's, it's nice getting sure. out of London, especially mm. to drive, drive on some roads which aren't just uh, constantly gridlocked with uh, stupid traffic all the time. I get out yeah. of stuff with a lot of that. Yeah. Floor it and then I'll. Yeah, I'll just go straight into it. You can actually see how like, it's adjusting according to the speed you're going. <laughs> yeah, go. So I'm going to try and point out everything that I've done and changed and installed on here that's uh, different to what your standard ones are. So uh, let's start with the trims. We've got carbon my ride, front slam panel, which I think really finishes up these off. It really is nice. I'm not mm. the biggest lover of carbon, mm. but that, I love it. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get a carbon grill to match it now. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Wrapped the plastics on the side there instead of the original plastic poppers. I've got Allen key screws and then the washers, so that's then been riv nutted in every single position so that holds itself all down. Uh, we've got an OMP strut bar on the top there. You've got your tines, and then there's the little uh, adjuster pots. You can just about see them hidden away, yeah, underneath there. Yeah, uh, plastic, these are covers for seat belts inside the cars the older cars I used to put these over the bolts oh. you stuck them over there so it just it just needs it and tied it up a little bit that's the black that's different because you know you have to buy that extra from take one it's ridiculously they're expensive. crazy money for what it they're is crazy it's money. so expensive yeah yeah it, what's more expensive if your rubber grommet goes on that little funnel yeah that was 45 pounds for oh, a little piece of rubber what 
Yeah, we'll take this. Um, so I've got the hybrid racing fuel rail on there. This has got 100cc grams injectors. Uh, I've got the rocker cover with extra ports for the um, breather system. Yeah. Uh, we've got a four bar map sensor on there. You've got your turbo smart boost valve and um, dump valve on there. You've got your program filter right tucked down there. There's the snail right, right down the back. Down the front here, we've got the fuel regulator for the pressure, and we then we've got a K tuned dial on the front so we can view it while it's running. The MAC valve for controlling different boost levels. Uh, we've got a radium uh, pulse dampener which stops the fuel uh, being affected by the uh, injectors opening and closing. So it stops pulsing within the rail. This okay. is a fuel return system. So this is uh, going all the way around and the original FN2 has a deadhead system. So it has one feed in and then it just pressurizes the rail. That's all it does. I got you. Um, and I think that's on there. Uh, moving out, then you've got the headlights are then completely blacked out. They've got single projectors in there. Nice. Uh, they've got the red angel eyes and then it's got the uh, edges which do the indicator and the side lights. It does look nice, like when it's following, it does look really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the front's got, I made, the, I, made, I made these pieces, just a piece of aluminium folded yeah, with then a securing, with well, a little quick, quick release on there. You've got the scoots, Maxton front uh, splitter which likes to split <laughs> <laughs> the, the, they, they can top they can hold up to a lot but my mm. god do they like to break yeah gp front yeah. moving grill mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's that on the front for there come out to the wheels so yeah nk nco 3r has oh, got dunlop rubber on them brembo mark 3r uh, rs calipers 340 disc two-piece dixel pads this has had the original wheel studs taken out and i've put hard races in there they've then been cut to length so they exactly match the raised nuts on there so they are absolutely holding on as tight as they can nice uh, it's a five mil hub centric spacer which i had to get specially made for uh -huh. it um this has had new hub new wheel bearings lower arm uh changed all the anti-roll bar and everything you've really gone to town on it right yeah yeah you really really have yeah. Uh, on so the rear has had a 30,000 mile rear new rear beam put on there. Nice. That had it's had new calipers, new brake lines. It's got braided all the way around. Uh, it's had the new rear disc guards because they go rotten. Mm -hmm. uh, new discs and pads. I was looking um, at your disc guard as well, and I was thinking, did you paint that? But then I could see there's no like rubbing or nothing well, like that at all. They, they were brand new from Honda. They weren't actually so ridiculous. I think they were fifty p fifty pound a piece. Which okay. in the world of Honda, considering it's coming from Honda, yeah, it's, it's not actually not that, that bad. It's not too bad. And I Agreed. My the ones that were coming off, they were just totally rotten, mm. totally rotten through. And there's no point buying second hand ones because they're rotten as well. So Agreed. So, so got that on there. Uh, they were they made it really nice and neat. Uh, yeah, it's got the tines all the way around, so that's quite, yeah. uh, that's quite a good thing. Uh, in the boot, because of all the turbo and everything, yeah, the battery's been so nice. Uh, Optima battery has been moved to the boot because it's Optima. It's a gel you can lie it on its side. Fire extinguisher in here as well in case something happens. Or oh, everyone keeps saying you should have it in the, the car. Passenger it's, side. You should have it in the car. I'm like, I'll be honest. If I'm in that much of a crash where yeah. I have to get to have to get to the fire extinguisher, yeah. This is more for if 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 something starts happening, I can at least get to it. If I have, if I've had a rear end, I'm probably going to be casing getting police, uh, fire and police <laughs> helping me get out of the car. I don't think it's going to be worrying about the fire extinguisher. So, true, yeah. so it's it's there for in case something it's happens. The touch of detail, like this, is it's called cool, it? oh man. So, and and uh, so that's got the tiny uh, tiny controller back here for the rear struts. So there there is these sitting on the little tops oh, there. Yes, so that's them there. So we've got a K brace in the middle. Nice. Definitely, definitely finished it off. We had, I had mm. an OMP one on there before, but it's such a pain in the backside to try and get a socket down to try and tighten it up. Mm. I, mean, I, was, I was like, I, I'm going K brace on that. Yeah. And then you've got the GP rear. Yeah, GP rear. It's got like, I think it's a TDI North single exit mm. um, system on there, which it does its job. It makes one dirty corner. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. clean it. I don't clean it. I don't, There's no point. point. I clean it two minutes later. Done, so, dirty. And then you can just see like the 
carbon fiber yeah uh seeker spoiler yeah mm. uh on the back end which the, which the do a lot of people do stand here looking at yeah is the center is the center line yeah you know what i didn't notice it it's when, i've got to be honest it's when we were sat there doing the interview when you were like oh um i replaced the type r center center cluster with the mark came on i was like i didn't notice that until you just said it yeah and it does work it works quite nicely it works really nice on nicely. a red car mm. it suits it well Mm. I don't think on anything else it would look a little odd. Yeah. Uh, I do like the I do like the original silver one. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I had an original silver on here yeah. and it had been blackened over and then yeah. it had had the holes cut for this. Mm. I was like, I'm gonna peel it off, mm. have it original, but yeah. no, I've peeled it off. There's a massive crack way down there, so that that's gone. I mm. black edged all of the lights so you don't yeah. see any of that little. I was just about to say you don't see the moss and everything yeah, like that, which so is definitely something I need to do. Uh, for sure. So you got uh dab aerial an FM aerial on the roof. I did not even notice the aerial. See, that's so sleek. Yeah. Things like that are just so sleek. Yeah. I, I was sick of having that window one because they always and they always, yeah. they always break. So it's, yeah, it's, it's pointless in there. So yeah, so that's the dab aerial for that. I'm going to stand here so you could get a wider angle and see just how beautiful it is. I've already got Cinemax yeah. on the bigger so, camera. Yeah, so we got hybrid racing shifter that is got a linked into the gearbox which has got the detent springs from hybrid racing and then the shifter springs from hybrid racing definitely worth doing on an fn2 uh, that's got a stage three xed clutch uh working it so the pedals heavy but not too uh too strenuous uh yeah this has been trimmed from the center console all the way underneath the dash all the way up top even the roof lining that's that's all been done in there but the gauges Read the FC, the steering wheel. It's just, I'm, I'm not talking much because I'm just taking it in. I mean, you just look at where the dials are and then look at the different, the coloration, you haven't gone too crazy with red. Like if no. anything, you've blackened it out more so the red looks a lot more the, special in it. it this, is why, this is why I'm thinking of getting rid of the red carpet. Yeah. It, it doesn't actually need that much more red mm. and the, the the, the red, however much I clean it, it's still looking grubby, and so that's why I'm looking at it. If I can find one for a decent amount, I'll, I'll, I'll grab one and I'll see what happens. Do you know what's crazy, right? One of the biggest things that ties in the interior, makes the interior special, are the Type R seats. Yeah. But because of everything you've done with the interior, it makes the seats look so standard in here. Yeah. <laughs> like, everything else just looks so, so... I, I was tempted to try and get this material changed to... The same material. colour red. Um, Oh yeah, look at the seatbelts, people. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, they they were changed, so they sort of match. That is, they it's match, just match so nice. The... Genuinely so nice, man. I like it's these little touches of detail. Look at the door cards. So that, I've all of the door been, cards. The, the door panels have been trimmed black, gloss black, with yeah. a vinyl wrap again on there. The center pieces I've painted. I had I had gloss black wrap, uh, gloss black sprayed on those two, and then this is a standard civic dash again because this is now gloss black instead of the type r perforated type That's and then so you've got nice. your aem fuel ratio gauge and the vent on the yeah. other side and then look at the tweeter yeah then morel uh they're, the, they're some of the best speakers you can get properly nice right they're really good they do sound amazing if this is next steps are needing a bit of stereo in here mm. it's, it's lacking a bit on the stereo would you do the sub yeah, it needs a sub. It does need a sub. Yeah, I, mean, I, I still I like listening to my music, and this is, Give me this is lacking a bit. I try and turn it up, and it just bleh, bleh, bleh. so mm. it needs um it needs some <clears throat> yeah it needs something. It definitely needs something. Yeah. No, it's just so nice in here. The side profile, where, you know, you used to have a Mugen spoiler, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I, I I've got to be honest. I've just got a Mugen spoiler for my car, yeah. which people may or may not know by if the video's up or not, but. I think I kind of like this car. I, when I bought it, it had the Mugen, and I wasn't the biggest lover of the Mugen. I liked it. It makes what? it look really, really aggressive. Yeah. Like it, it definitely increases the presence on the road. My, my paint started to peel it, peeled a little bit on there, and it was just getting marks and stuff. And I'm like, I was like, I want something different. Yeah. I like, I like to try and change it up. I yeah. Just, for, for what's coming next, will be look, will look a different again. Yeah. Um, people but, guess in the comments what the next spoiler is i mean if you if you're really into fn2s you yeah, know there's yeah, nothing you, really you, you already know what's coming next got so. a if you've had a mugen you've got a seeker and you want you want something else there's only, there's only one other thing left that isn't standard that isn't standard yeah it is it's a tricky card to start so if you nail it just like tim has 
I'm telling you, man, you're off to the races. You really, really are. I mean, I always like the back quarter of these cars, yeah? And look, just look at that in the camera. And this is just a camera. Seeing a car in person is a whole different ball game. It's a work of art. It really is. You've done well. You've done it oh, so well. I've got to give a shout out to, because there, there have been a few people that have helped me along the way mm -hmm. on this. Um, on a mission. Yeah. They're over on Facebook or, or sure. Instagram, whichever way you see them. They are so helpful with getting Definitely. parts. It's a shame that they have to strip them to, yeah. to get for us to get the parts, but they're really good. Mm. Matt at Talk GT, sound mm -hmm. man, really good person to talk to. And Paul West for tuning. For sure. You, you can't go wrong with him. He's, 100%. He's, he's, he's so good. He's he tuned so my good. car, yeah. yeah and he was very knowledgeable yeah. when he was walking me through the whole every single yeah. stage. And like he said, on the mission, I have a few parts from them. Um, and I, like you said, you can't go wrong. Yeah. And it is a shame that these cars have to be stripped, but a lot of them are rotten and whatnot. And if anything, you don't want to miss out on really rare parts. No, some of them go really wrong. It's yeah. amazing how bad, yeah. how bad they can go. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it really and truly. Um, again, this is like a double feature with Tim on the channel. I'm pretty sure in the future, there'll be more of him that you'll, you'll see. So I'm always floating around somewhere. Yeah, for sure. And <laughs> if you ever see either it shows or anything, yeah. One hundred percent. And if you if you see this plate number K twenty move, move in it. <laughs> it's not it's move, out move out of the way. One hundred percent get out of the way. <laughs> Alright, it's starting to rain now, so we're gonna close out here. But yeah, take it easy people. And as always, thank you for watching. And yeah, au revoir. So I'm just going to give a little conclusion here. Instead of you guys looking at my face, you can kind of take in the FN in all of its shadowing glory, right? <laughs> glory. Oh my days, I'm tired. But no, seriously, um, the EDSC really does make like a vast difference. It's crazy how like you could just be driving. It will automatically be adjusting the dampening as you're going literally on the fly. And as Tim said, like with the manual settings on the coil levers you've got about six settings or like six clicks for for stiffness and softness whereas with the edfc it's about 60 six zero crazy i put it this way if my purpose for this car wasn't really for uh weekend use slash track use moving forward I would definitely do it. I am seriously considering it anyway. Like, regardless, it really does make it a different car to feel. Remember, I've got the same coilovers as Tim um, without the EDFC. And I can promise you, over, over bumps, his car is much more compliant and much more comfortable. Much more comfortable. And then when you're really going for it, you can actually feel it stiffen up or automatically. No buttons, no nothing. You can control it through... The controller obviously but yeah no it's great it's great um who knows might be added to the shopping list <laughs> uh, but yeah anyway you've made it this far i appreciate you all watching um and yeah we're just gonna keep rocking and rolling yeah peace people